Adam Sherwinski is back today with an experiment that you can try at home. Okay, Adam, you have asked me to bring straws, glasses, water, and food coloring, and scissors. So yes. what are we doing today? And the food coloring you don't really necessarily have, but it makes things look pretty. And, you know, some people like to play around and have pretty water. And optional of, food coloring. Optional food coloring, right? So first and foremost, let's get our... Uh, our safety, safety, safety glasses on. on. You most likely won't need it for this. It's mostly water. But, right. You know, you're playing with scissors. You got some sharp pieces there from the, if you cut off. That is our, true. The, the, uh, the straw, straw. pieces so sometimes go mind. flying. Yes. So okay. there we go. We're basically in a siphon. And this is going to be one that uh, is pretty easy to do. It's pretty simple. Uh, and it's one that you can get kind of creative with. I was getting creative earlier, as you can see, with one of my uh, abominations right. of a straw <laughs> a that I straw. made. But I have one from earlier. And all you got to do is take your straw, right? Fill up a container all the way. All right. Take that straw. Pinch the end of it. Make sure there's no air or use your thumb if you're that careful. All right. Ready? Dunk her in. And watch. Whoa. Okay, so ultimately you're moving the water from that cup to mm -hmm. this cup with just the straw. With just the straw. And, and what did you do to get it started? Do so you I kind of pump you, it you, or? No, you have, basically what you do is you create a vacuum and that actually adds, so it's, it's a combination oh. of air pressure and gravity working in tandem to cause this. Let's see if I can try it again. It kind of stopped prematurely there. Okay, oh. so you pinch the top of the straw mm -hmm. then to get the siphon to flow. Yes, and I've been working with this all day. Wait, sh should we use your should we use your long siphon? Maybe that we'll will see, help. That's the, let's, let's see if that works. Let's, let's try it as let's part try. of the experiment. All right, you go. So we're Ready? put that in pinched? there. Pinched? Yep. Oh, wait. it's not working. Wait, wait. Hmm. wait. All right, hold on. Yeah. Push it in. No, so why, why is it not working? Ah, there's too much going on here. First of all, I need to probably tape this right here. I took two straws together. <laughs> there's probably air. Probably air, air escaping right there. But also, it just doesn't have enough of that vacuum for it, too. So it's better to use it on bigger things. Let's see if we can try it on here. I've been playing and see if we can try and get on the, thank you, um, picture here. But it hasn't been working. So it's one of those things that you kind of want to play with, too. Obviously, there's water, so it's going to be a little bit of a mess. Um, and try different straws, different cuts of the straw, different lengths of the straw, different containers, different volumes. And the key thing, too, is you want to have it just kind of rest ever so slightly right there on the edge of the glass there. And what you're doing then is creating a vacuum, which is causing pressure, so, right? So pulls explain it up. the physics of the uh, pressure. So basically, we're just trying to even things out here. And you'll watch if this does it correctly. It didn't do it last time. Let's see if I can do oh, it. Oh, there, there, there's a photo of when you were doing yes. it earlier, and it was working. Oh, watch, and now you have it going. Yeah. Excellent. So you'll notice that it, after a while, this will start to rise or drop to the level just about to the tip of where the uh, the spoon is, or not spoon, the uh, straw is. And then it'll kind of stop. And that's because it's trying to equal everything out with the straw. So there you go. And then we'll see how long it takes the water to turn blue. There you go. So <laughs> when you add the food coloring while it is already started. Yeah, and so watch, it's gonna eventually stop going. You're probably thinking, well, wait, that's it? That's that's it? Well, yeah, because look at it. It's, it's exactly almost exactly at the same point at the end of that straw right there. Sure. So that's how it balances everything out there and kind of fills in for the vacuum. And is this kind of like barometric pressure With when bar it comes yeah. to weather? And yeah. is that why you sometimes will get like a pressure headache? How does how does that uh, all work? That's a little bit different. That's more of a that's more of a doctor question than oh. a meteorologist <laughs> question. Okay. But I will say that uh, the, the the whole thing does have to do with uh, the physics of air pressure or not air pressure, but just pressure in general, because right. you can do the same thing with water. It's a fluid. Water and air are both fluids. Therefore, you can do a lot of the similar things with air that you would do with water. Can't really do it with solids. That's one thing about solids. Right. So. Well, and I used to have a big 50 gallon fish tank. So I had a siphon that had a hand pump and yep. we cleaned the rocks. But now I just have a small sort of table size. I don't know if that's going to work just as well. I was going to say, but maybe if I got a bigger straw, bigger I could hose. make my own, yeah, a bigger hose, make my own yeah. siphon and feel free to clean out the rocks. And feel free to kind of just play around with it too. It's one of those experiments that like, yeah, you do it one way. Okay, it works. Try a larger glass. Try a smaller glass. Try different sizes of the uh, of the straw, and try different straws. And you know, as you can see, I cut a few of them yeah, too so to make you know new ones. Let's show that. So. What exactly did you do here All to, I did, to extend the siphon? And like we said, we probably should have taped it, but how do you cut it? I cut it. This is why we have the goggles. Right. So I cut it in, like oh, so. Oh, kind of at an angle. At an angle, and then I slid one into the other, and then... Thread it through. Thread it through. Now you're... You can already tell it's going to need some tape probably right there to make more of a seal. Right. So that we're not using it, losing any pressure there, but there you go. And then let's see what happens. So, uh -oh. let's, so we plug we plug this side, right? Mm -hmm. Plug that side, put it in, and hope for the best. 
Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, it's cutting itself off. I think the coolest part, though, was when we put the food coloring in after it had already started, because I think that that's really cool. And you could try different things at home, like timing how long once the water is running, when you put the food coloring in, how long it takes for the food coloring to mm -hmm. go. And we can try all different things, which is the f fun of science. Mm -hmm. Experimenting with your experiments, right? See what works and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for being here, Adam, and for teaching us how to do this. This is something you can definitely try at home. And if you have a question for Adam, you can email him at asherwinski at wcia.com. And you can find us both on social media.